DIY Photography's coverage of Photokina is brought to you by Rode Microphones, Camrar Defuse, and Light Blaster. Hi, this is Udi Tirosh. We're at Photokina 2016 uh, with Ken Mitchell from Lens Baby. And Ken, this is a new device, that you're, a new lens that you're holding in your hand. It doesn't look like a regular lens. I'm really curious what it is. Well, it's a, it's a different looking lens because the mirrorless market has changed the way that you know, lenses need to be designed. So we designed a lens that's specifically for mirrorless cameras. It'll come out in a Sony mount, it comes out in the Fuji mount, and the Micro Four Thirds. But what's unique about this, again, as you can see, is it has a very compact design. So no longer do you have a long extended lens, you can have something very compact that's more fitting with the form factor that comes with these cameras. So it can all the small bags that people with the mirrorless cameras use, yeah, this the, can go right in. Yeah, one of the main reasons I think that people are using the mirrorless cameras is because they're convenient and compact, and yet the lenses that are designed for them are oftentimes large, and so what becomes the point of having that compact right. camera if you can have a compact lens? So form factor was a really important thing in the design of this product. It's a 28 millimeter lens, so it's a fixed focal length at 28 millimeter. We chose that because we wanted to be able to have more of a landscape or urban shot. Is, is that a 28 for a 35 millimeter equivalent? Or yes, 28 for a, on a, for a okay. 35 millimeter equivalent, because on a crop sensor, of course, it's gonna be whatever that ratio is to that. Um, it's also a fixed aperture, so it's a fixed at 3.5 aperture. So that said, it's a manual focus lens, like all of our lenses are. Um, <clears throat> But what's unique about this is that it has three lenses in one. We took some of our best-selling effects and we put it into this body. So start, you can start with a velvet effect, which gives you a sharp image, but with a, a glow underneath it. You can switch the dial, and you have a sweet spot of focus. Again, what we're known for. In this case, a sweet spot is in the center of the, the, the image. Um, and it's unlike the twist, right? You cannot change the location of the sweet spot. No, you can't. It's fixed in the center. And speaking of twists, that's our final oh. lens that's on there. By twisting it, you can also get the twist effect. And again, the, the thing about the twist is that you get a sharp area of center, and then you get the vignetting on the side. And of course, depending upon the background, then you can get that swirling effect as well. So again, taking our, it's true, again, back to the twist, it's true that pets will design. So, here in this compact form, you have three different lenses. Um, so we think this is going to change the way that uh, lenses are thought, just like the original lens baby did, you know, 14 years ago. And I'm noticing that the actual lenses are very, very small. I mean, how much optics is in this body between um, the, the rotating lens thing and the and the mount? Well, it has a, it has our standard you know set of optics that we put into all of our lenses to get that effect. Again, they're just they're small but uh, they're powerful. How much uh, is this lens going to sell for? It'll retail for $280, so similar to what our Twist uh, our Twist 60 retails for. Yeah, but that's actually three lenses. So. Yeah, three lenses for, for a very good price. And when is this going live? When, um, when? It'll be available the end of October. Okay, thank you very much, Ken. Thank you. If you like some more cool movies, you can check out this one and this one, and you can subscribe to us down here.